Piers is 20 games unbeaten, five in a row. What's it like being part of a special record like that? Yeah, it's it's a really it's a really good feeling. Um, I think if you asked uh, any footballers, uh, past or present, have they ever been involved in a in a twenty game unbeaten uh, streak? I think very, very, very slim uh, numbers would put their hand up and say they have been. So it's it's a it's a real um, a really nice feeling for us as players and and, and us as a club. I think we broke um, the club record as well. So. A couple of weeks ago, so it's a, it's a really good feeling, and there's a there's a real good um, good positive uh, vibe in in and around the club and, and outside with the fans at the minute. So um, yeah, twenty games unbeaten, and um, listen, I think the next milestone is is, is to get to twenty five, maybe. So um, yeah, that, that's what we're looking to do. But uh, it's it's a it's a re- brilliant feeling. Has the manager and staff sat down with the players to chat about the achievements and what comes next? Not really, no. Um, haven't really set any goals, or hasn't he? The manager hasn't hasn't said no. Now we're going to hit thirty, or now we're going to hit twenty five. It's it's literally just just keep it going, game by game. Um, to I, I think when it got to seventeen, eighteen, the manager mentioned about twenty because twenty. It's it, it, I don't know something about the number twenty. It's kind of um, it's a big thing. So. He hasn't. He, they haven't set any set any goals for us um, as a team. But um, personally, I, I, I'd like twenty five. I think that's it's the next five games in the next three weeks. So that that would be nice. When we spoke down, when we sat down a couple of months ago and and chatted about the unbeaten record, then we were in almost like a rut of draws. What what has changed in that time uh, to find us actually start winning games? I think we've we've got a bit of luck. Um, I think in them them eight draws or it could have gone either way, but I think in in pretty much all of them games we we deserve to win at least a couple more. Um, I think it's just been it's been luck. We we've played the exact same way. We we've performed decent enough for for majority of the ninety minutes in pretty much all all of the games we've won and majority of the games we've drawn. So. Um, things have gone our way recently uh, in the five game streak and, and things weren't going our way a couple of weeks ago when we were drawing games so we've been doing the same things we've been training we've been we've been saying the same things it's just things have fallen for us um, whether it's in off the post or it's a lucky bounce but um, things are dropping for us now and, and long may it continue It's important to be wary as well because we're still only in the heart, first half of the season what, what would you say is the best way to keep momentum going into the rest of the campaign? Um, listen, I've been I've been in positions similar to, to what we're in at the minute. Listen, obviously not the twenty game unbeaten streak, but we've been top three, top top two. We've been top of the table since my time at the club, and we've also been second bottom uh, and, and bottom half of the table. So, um, if we've played seventeen league games, it's a forty six game league season. There's there's an awful long way to go. Um, I'll be expecting a couple of teams that are bottom half um, to, to kind of put a room together and I'm expecting a couple of teams that are at the top of the table to to go through a bit of a rut. Um, we we will expect to to go through a bit of a blip, um, whether that's soon or whether we might not, who knows, but we've got we've got to expect to 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 not win a game in a couple of games or to lose two on the bounce and then go and win a couple it, it's it's going to happen listen any anything could happen in in a long league two season of a 40 46 game season so we've got to be prepared to to bounce back when, when we eventually do lose a game and it, it's going to happen eventually so we've got to be prepared for that and and we've got to bounce back straight away so we're unbeaten at home this season, but on Tuesday night we're going to away. We've also got the longest away run in the country as well. Um, how do you approach a game knowing that you're going to go? Well, I say go, going to the away game and, and trying to silence their fans. Yeah, it's going to be. Listen, I've, I've I must have played at Colchester seven or eight times now, um, and I don't think I've ever had a an easy game um, I think after the game on Saturday the manager said that there's no never an easy game in League 2 and and I would back that up because we've gone to places like Macclesfield previously we've gone to Barrow and they've probably been harder than going to so-called bigger bigger club away so 
Um, it's going to be a difficult. Uh, we expect a cold, a cold night. Um, I'm not sure how many fans are going to be there, so I expect it to kind of be a bit of a dull atmosphere, and and it's up to ourselves to kind of to kind of make ourselves get going, get going from the start. And these are the type of games where you kind of you kind of. I wouldn't say you you wouldn't look forward to the most because you, it's a Tuesday long trip. Um, it's going to be freezing cold. It's not going to be much atmosphere. And these are the games where you, you get promoted. These are the games that you need to win to to stay in the top three in this league. And if we get a result, then it's going to be a big result for us. So you you mentioned briefly about about going to Colchester. Is there's not really a there's not really a pattern when we do play Colchester. Sometimes it can be a real battle like the playoffs, and then sometimes we get those six one anomalies. Uh, are you how do you how do you approach a game like that, knowing that anything can happen? Yeah, I think I think it's similar to to most games. Um, beat Colchester six one, and then I, I think we only beat them two one away. So there's a there's a big big difference in, in results there. And I remember we beat uh, Tranmere five one at home last year, and went up to their place and it was a one all draw and they were they were in the playoffs and we weren't I think so it's it, it's 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 kind of difficult to prepare for but we, we we've watched we've watched a little bit of culture so this year I think they're they're underachieving um in the league to what their um what their squad have and, and the ability and the experience their players have. So we're going there under no illusions it's gonna be it's gonna be a difficult game and um I think everybody's waiting for us to to kind of slip up um, and end our winning streak. But listen, we're determined to to keep this run going. And listen, it's a fantastic run we're on, and we've got we've got to go there with confidence and and rightly so to to get three points. We've had a flurry of games in the last couple of weeks. How has the recovery been ahead of this one? Yeah, it's been it's been difficult, um, especially after Tuesday nights, um, one hundred and twenty minutes. Um, that that was quite difficult to 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 recover and, and get going again on Saturday. But um, it, it it's a strange one. Uh, me personally, I'd, I'd rather be playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, because you've got no time to dwell on on bad results, good results. It's just ticking ticking games off every two or three or four days. So it's it's been difficult the last couple of weeks, and we've got another difficult couple of weeks coming up but um, we listen we're used to it I think last year was the most hectic schedule we've ever had um, in the football league so um, you know listen we're looking forward to it it's 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 another opportunity to to stay in the top two top three in the league and, and we're going there with confidence Can you afford to look three or four games in advance or is it just one game at a time? I think <sighs> It's me for for us players. I, I don't think you really can. I think staff staff members kind of do uh, with their analysis and and uh, how they're going to set our, our team up and what shape we're going to play tomorrow. Maybe it might be different on Saturday, but as a player, you you don't really look 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 towards Saturday. I think Tuesday is the main focus because um, listen, we're out there performing, and if if you look past Tuesday, you, you could you could. Um, put the whole team at risk of, of your performance and result wise. So, um, no, you, you can't really uh, look past um, the next game, or you, you definitely can't look three or four games in front of the next. No. And obviously, Colchester are twentieth into this game. Does it make it slightly easier for you looking at teams like Rochdale and now Colchester that are in the bottom half of the table when you've got a schedule like this? Not really. Um, I think in previous seasons we've played um well in previous seasons we've we've always been um top half top 6 top 7 uh, and we've always come up against um teams that are bottom of the league second bottom and we've lost uh, when when we've needed to win so um I've played enough I've played enough games in this league to know that if we go to Colchester expecting to win same on Saturday if we 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 came to the to park expecting to beat Carlisle we were never going to win. Same with Oldham, previous previous uh, game. If you turn up to games in this league expecting to win games, it, it just won't happen. So, um, we've got to go there and show Colchester uh, high, 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 in high regard, high, respect them, and 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 um, bring the game to them because they're at home. And listen, they need a result uh, probably more than we do at, at the minute, but. Um, we're we're going there under no illusions. It's going to be a very difficult game because they've got a really good squad, good players, and uh, they've got a good manager. So, 
Let's say last couple of times we've been to Colchester, we haven't been able to have any fans there, so it should be nice to, to have a little bit of an atmosphere around the ground. Well, yeah, I, I expect uh, near a thousand extra fans to travel to uh, to Colchester because everywhere we go, there seems to be five or six hundred. So, um, now listen, it's going to be nice to go to go. Listen, it's, it's been nice going to, uh, to away away stadiums with our own fans there because. I think there was about about seven hundred, six seven hundred at uh, Salford, and there was one hundred and sixty at Barrow. So anybody who goes, anybody who goes away on a Tuesday, um, especially up the motorway, is a proper diehard fan. So hopefully we can bring a couple of couple of hundred there tomorrow night, and uh, and they'll make noise, loads of noises uh, as usual.